Would you eat a cicada? They say cicadas taste like asparagus. And uh, they have the texture of shrimp. And I'm telling you, I um, it's 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 the 17 year cicada, you all. And my daughter went outside, and they're coming out of the grounds. Hello, Apple Brooks. And I'm I'm trying to muster up the strength and the courage to taste this cicada. They say John the Baptist ate locusts and wild honey. And I'm thinking, I don't know. I was because I, I got a I got an insect aversion. <laughs> I don't know about this, you all. I really don't. Um, you can see it right here. You 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 get them. You get them, you all. And um, hello, hello, wherever you are, in any part of the world. Hello from my heart to yours. I'm trying to muster up the strength to taste that cicada. My daughter loves them. <laughs> yeah, so um, I'm going to let you all watch me. I'm not a big fan of this, but I'm going to put this phone in here. We got it supposed to take its legs off. It, you had to boil it in water for five minutes. Yes, I'm going to try it. I will try one thing. I will try something once. <laughs> yeah once i've had dried crickets before i have i tried that um i've i've ate i've, I've swallowed a fish in warm one time <laughs> i did i'm gonna try it you all because they say they're really good they're supposed to be a high uh a super food or something that's what they say oh mr sasquatch mm, i need to i should bring up some wine right now you go to take that i'm gonna I'm, yes that's what i'm Let's see, you all. I'm going to see if I can put this in here because I got to, um, I'm going to try it, you all. I really am. Well, no, you're going to have to look at me. I got to try to, I don't really want to do it. I don't, but at least I will have been able to say I've, I've tried it. If I can, um, I can't even see to take it some. I don't like doing it. It's like st stuck. You take its leg off. They said if you have a, um, if you're allergic to shellfish, you don't want to do this. Mm. Well, they say that um, this is going to be the food that we can eat in the future. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to do it. <laughs> no, I want to taste it. Am I brave enough to do it? You are. are you brave enough to taste it? Uh, it's going to be kind of hard for me to make myself do it. Wait a minute. I eat some. I'm gonna eat as asparagus first. I, you know, I, I don't know about it. No. Okay. Um, I ate it really fast. It did taste like celery. Um, it did. Do I want to eat any more? No. I tried it one time. One time. What, what if you had to eat insects, you all? What if you did? What if you had to... That was all you had to eat was insects. 
for protein. Could you do it? It's an acquired taste, and um, uh, they were eight chocolate covered ants. Well, um, uh, <laughs> you all, yeah. So, um, yeah, they're, they're supposed to be really good for you. They really are. But I don't want to eat anymore. I don't. Even though they're popping up out of the ground. They're popping up out of the ground right now. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, you all. No. Don't, don't give me a plate full of cicadas because I don't want to eat them. I don't. Uh, it tasted like asparagus. That's why I brought this asparagus up there so I could already have that asparagus in my mouth and eat it. <laughs> That's what it tasted like. Um, but I didn't feel good having to eat it. I didn't have to eat it. I chose to eat it. I chose to see what it would taste like. Okay, I did. Would I encourage you to go out and since it's the 17 year, I mean, they're all over the place here in Indiana, uh, in this area, all over the place. It's at 17 years. And um, when we first moved here in 2004, they were here. The cicadas were here. But I didn't eat them. But I tried one. Okay. Now, my daughter should be happy. I tried it. I ate it as fast as I could. And I swallowed it. Uh, because I wanted to know what it tastes like. You know, because um, that can be, um, I think, um, that's going to be your protein for the future. It, it quite possibly could be your protein in the future. You eat um, insect protein, um, insect whatever stuff, and I, I don't want to do it. I don't. Yeah, I know you don't either. If it was a matter of life and death, and I guess if I had to change um, my food habits, if meat was gone and uh, poultry and stuff like that, would you... See, that's what it is. Where would you get your protein? They they, they are gluten-free, it said. Gluten-free. Yeah. Can you tell by the look on my face? I didn't like eating it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. I eat it. Traditional meals is what I do. I've sat here and I've just... Uh, no. <laughs> you don't want to eat bugs. And um, I don't want that on our menu, but... What did, um, it said, coming to a menu near you. I was listening to uh, the radio station. I was, I'm not joking. It was last week. Coming to a me menu near you. Uh, and in the grocery store, it was mealworms. They want, they got mealworms. They want you to eat mealworms. And I'm sorry, that stuff just wiggles all around. Uh, would you want to eat mealworms? Because, um. They're in the grocery store. Yeah. Yeah, I will go out there and I will pull that dandelion uh, top off and I will eat that dandelion because it tastes pretty good. I, I thought, wow, that tastes some good with some, some Italian dressing. But yes, they said coming to a restaurant will be offering mealworms for you to eat. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> and to top it off, I was hungry. <laughs> I, am, I am hungry. I was already hungry. In fact, I got my uh, normal food downstairs. It's some, some green beans uh, and some uh, boiled potatoes and uh, some macaroni and cheese and um, chicken leg. I was going to eat a chicken leg, but um, and I decided I'm going to try that cicada. Yeah. Yeah, please hit that like button and subscribe. Um, I, what I, I'm not going to encourage you if you have cicada, cicada, if you have cicadas uh, out there. They say they're very nutritious and um, they're gluten free, and they do taste kind of like um, um, asparagus. That's what they taste like, and it kind of had the texture of a shrimp. But if you're allergic to shellfish, um, you don't want to do that. You don't. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it, you all. 
Don't do it. Um, yeah. Yeah, you can have some beans and some rice, and you've got yourself a nice meal. You really do. Be and be chill. Uh, it was kind of... It's all psychological, I think. It really is, um, because um, there's a lot of food that people eat that I won't. I don't want to eat. I don't want to eat oysters, okay? I don't like oysters. Mm, I don't. Um, and I, I tried octopus one time when we lived in Monterey, and it was very chewy. So I didn't like, I don't like octopus, um, and I don't like oysters. And I, um, I don't want to eat fish that still has the eyes on its head. I don't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, and I had this German, German friend when we lived in a housing on, in Berlin, my friend Roswitha. Well, she brung over some um, eel. You know eel that s swims around in the ocean? She brung over some eel that was in a jar or something, and um, we tricked my husband, and he loved it. Then I told him it was an eel. Because he thought it was kind of like uh, those sardines in a can or something. Yeah. Um, uh, they have specific um, nanites um, that spreads disease. Um, well, these cicadas uh, have been in the ground for 17 years, uh, since 2004. That's when we moved here. Uh, and they come out of the ground. Okay, you can find them uh, in the early evening hours and in the early morning hours is when they come out of the ground. And uh, the birds love them. They do. Yeah. Don't do that, you all. But if you had to, you would. You would. You, if you had to eat a cicada, I guess you would. Um, I'd rather had it um, crispy. <laughs> Grounded into a powder. Yes, yeah, 17 years. Uh, it's just like in the desert. Uh this uh, tribe at certain times of the year, um, they dig down into the sand or the dirt and the desert. They dig down and they find these frogs. They find these frogs and uh, they got water and they can squeeze them and they can drink water from the frogs because they got a lot of water in them. Yeah, they do. Well, my hair looks a little wild right now. Yeah. Um, you can go longer than you think with no food at all. That's true. But if you'll get hungry enough, you'll eat. You'll eat something. Yeah. Froggy feet. Frog feet taste like chicken legs. I've had them a couple times. Oh, no. The, the something, uh, the something it's the term used for mk ultra um yeah i don't know what they use i really don't but um yeah if you're just tuning in i tasted a cicada it's a 17 year a cicada uh, that has been in the ground since we moved here uh, in 2004 or something like that uh, is when we moved here and um yeah, I tasted only one, and I had a piece of asparagus up here because they said it tastes like asparagus, um, and it, it took it took courage. It, it literally, it takes a lot of courage to do that. Um, yeah. Yeah, you are. Um, you have the seven years. Um yeah, it, I'm tell you what, I didn't want to do it. You all could tell it on my face. I just stuck the whole thing in and just put a celery, a celery, asparagus in my mouth and just ate it as fast as I could. <laughs> yeah. Yes, they are coming out. Oh, they come out of the ground. They mate. They come out of the ground. They mate. And they are a bountiful food for the birds. The birds love them. They scoop down and they sit in the tree and they eat. The insects, okay, they do. Apple Brooks, it is so gross. Yeah. 
Yeah, it is gross. It'd make you want to turn your stomach. Yeah, that's right. He ate locusts, and I was thinking, he was a wild man. He was, um, and he ate locusts and honey. Oh, I guess it tasted good together. I really do. Yeah. Good for the birds. That's right, you all. And I said, that looks really good. I'm, at first, I'm dancing with Dr. Fauci, and now I'm eating a cicada. <laughs> that don't go together. That does not go together, Dr. Fauci and, and cicadas. No, it don't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a big drastic boo. Yeah. It don't. I am uh, southern Indiana is where I'm at. Yeah. Um. Yes. Yeah. You are. I'm gonna have to get off here. Yes, I am foraging too. Uh, you can eat roots. You can eat pine needles. You can you can eat all kinds of things. And if you know how to identify the mushrooms, you can eat the mushrooms. Um. I think I'd rather eat ant soup. Yeah. You all are so. You're so welcome. Uh, thank you all for being here and um, take it from me. Um, cicadas aren't all that for food, okay? They not they don't taste like that. Um, well, they taste kind of, yeah, you don't want to try it. I tried it for you, and I, w I don't recommend eating the insects. I don't. Don't do it. And especially don't go for the mealworms. If you see them in the grocery store, don't go for them. Because uh, that's they're, they'll be wiggling around. And the cicadas, they're fine. But don't no, you don't want to try it. Don't do it. Okay. Yes. There is a locust plague in the Middle East right now. I, I don't know if there is. But uh, I'm sure a lot of people are going to be eating food. Yes. Get you some gluten. Yeah. Have a wonderful rest of your day, you all, and, um, yeah, you're welcome. Thank you all. Thank you, moderators. Um, uh, yeah, well, I'm not feeling too funny <laughs> tasting, uh, trying a cicada. Um, you can look at, type it up, type in and do an internet search. What do cicadas taste like? You'll see all kinds of articles. People write articles on them. Now you know what it tastes like. You watch me eat them. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Love you. Wait, did I say that? Let me say this. Hello, wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello from my heart to yours. Thank you, Mr. Sasquatch. Uh, yes, good night, everybody.